What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a colorful fall look and I thought I would do something like this. Very colorful. Colors of fall. I was inspired to do this look by a piece of clothing that I was wearing earlier today that looks like this. And I think it pretty much goes with the colors of my shirt with the exception of the green that's right on the outer crease. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. And if you want to see how I achieve this look, keep watching. Okay, I was on the fence about whether I was going to do a voiceover or a talk through. And in most cases, I find it easier to do a talk through. So that's what I'm going to be doing today in terms of achieving this look on this eye on this one because this one is already done so I just wanted to jump right into the eye look and my foundation is already done but I will be completing the rest of my face after I complete the eye look so we're just going to jump right into it and the first thing that I'm going to do is to grab my elf eyeshadow primer and I'm going to go ahead and apply this all over the lid and then I'm going to blend that in all the way up to the brow bone area. I usually don't put it on my lower lash line because my lower lash line for some reason has gotten sensitive over the last few years. So any little thing can make my waterline itch, um, which is why in order for me to ensure that it's not my cosmetics or anything that's in my makeup collection, I sanitize everything on a regular basis as well as any eye pencils that I use with the Beauty So Clean sanitizing wipes that I have so that I can ensure that it's not that. But just because it, my eyes itch a lot is the reason why I really don't like to apply anything on the lower lash line, but in some cases I do. This look is really, really pretty, so I decided to go ahead and do it on my lower lash line this time. So after we apply our primer, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into applying my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Strawberry Milk. Now, why am I using a pink base? May you ask because of the colors that's on my eye they may not match with this but actually gold and pink are very close in color as well as red um white and red does make pink so this color just makes the um eyeshadows pop plus it's a little metallic so i'm going to go ahead and put that on my entire lid And then uh, and sometimes I blend it in with a brush, but this time I'm gonna blend it in with my fingers just to get that in real good. It provides a nice shimmery background for my colors. So that's why I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead next and apply my um, Black Opal um, Concealer in Beautiful Bronze which looks like this. And I'm gonna apply that over that strawberry milk jumbo eye pencil that I just applied. It wouldn't have made any sense for me to put this up underneath um, the eye pencil base because that is a base in itself. So I just apply it right above that jumbo eye, eye pencil. And I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that in all the way up to the brow bone area. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my MAC um, eyeshadow palette, and I'm gonna take this color right here, which is Rule, right there. And I'm gonna use my Sigma Tapered E40 brush, blending brush, to pick up some color, that particular color, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it over my crease area, all the way up to my brow bone. And I'm basically setting that Black Opal Concealer. So I'm just packing this on. And because it's such a sticky base is the reason why I am patting it on in order to get the full impact of the color and then I can blend it out after I apply it. Because it's just gonna skip if you try to blend it and then you'll lose color if you just blend it out as soon as you apply it to the lid. So you wanna build the color up first, then you can softly blend it out. Now I'm going to jump into this palette right here, which is my Fall Festival palette by Coastal Scents, and I'm going to grab this beautiful 
brown bronze color right here and I'm using my Morphe M433 brush and I'm going to apply that right slightly above the crease just so you can see that color it's really really pretty but it's a wash of color that just goes right above that crease area and I'm blending that out And in order to spread the color and kind of di um, like disperse it out even more, I usually take the brush, because this is a flat shader brush, I usually take it on its side, which is like this, and go right into that crease and it kind of fans that color out and it blends it out easy. Before I go any further, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my CoverGirl Medium Concealer on my brow bone area so that I can clean it up and define it. And then we'll move forward. And with that, I'm just taking a angled brush. And this just, any angled brush will do. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that right into my brow bone area. Now I'm going to set my brow bone area with this color right here from my MAC palette and this is rice paper and I'm going to use a flat shader brush to do that. Now I'm going to jump back into the Coastal Scents Fall Festival palette and I'm going to pick up this beautiful pumpkin orange shimmery color right here and I'm going to put it on the inner third of my eye. And to minimize the fallout, I'm going to go ahead and use my MAC Fix Plus. You can use eye drops, you know, anything that's going to dampen um, your eyeshadow color so that you don't get fallout everywhere. It'll help the color to stick to your lids and it'll also intensify the color. I'm also bringing that into my tear duct area, which is like right there. And I'm going to softly kind of cut the crease and bring this color over. Then I'm going to hop right back into this palette and I'm going to pick up this color right here which is like a beautiful rust red. It's a metallic shimmer and I'm going to put that in the center of my lid. Again, I'm going to go ahead and dampen that with MAC Fix Plus so that we can intensify the color and we can minimize the fallout. And we're just going to place it right dead center in the middle of the lid and kind of bring it over slightly overlapping that gold color that we just placed down on the inner third of the lid so we can get that little nice pop of color and I'm patting it on and then I kind of blend it out especially towards the edges lightly blend these two colors into each other where they need it Going back into the same palette, I'm going to pick up this beautiful moss green color right there at the lower corner, and I'm going to place that on the outer the third of the eye. Again, these are all shimmery colors in here except for maybe the, the brow bone color, um, which is here, but all the rest of them are metallic, so when you're dealing with metallics or shimmers, you may want to wet them down first or dampen them so that you can minimize the fallout because you will get a lot of fallout with these shades. I'm just going to place that right on the outer third of my eye, right there, next, right next to that red, kind of slightly overlapping that red color and just placing it right into the outer third of the eye. And I'm patting it on so that I can get like the most intense color. And then after I do that, I'm going to go between those two colors right here, the red and the green, and I'm going to blend them out slightly into one another so we can get a nice blend no harsh lines I'm gonna use an elf smudger brush and I'm gonna go back into my fall festival palette and pick up this Concord grape color right here which is gorgeous and I'm gonna place that right into the I like this elf smudger brush because it is a smudger brush and it's flat on both sides if you can see that so it gives you like a very narrow like fine point right there 
So it just makes it perfect for me to go into my crease and kind of cut it slightly. And I'm gonna go ahead and dampen that because once, once again, these are shimmers. They're gonna create a lot of fallout. So I'm just going right over that to kind of define the line between these colors and the colors that we had put placed down before this. And I'm just going back and forth right on the tip of this brush and just kind of making a slight crease right there that you can see. And then after we do that, we're gonna blend up slightly above it. And just kind of blend out that line. And I'm kind of blending on the out, outer third of this green color also, like right on the very end. And then I'm gonna take a blender brush. And in this case, I'm just using any type of blender brush will do. I'm just using this and I'm just gonna soften that line just a little bit so I can blend into that kind of burgundy color that we had placed earlier, slightly above that crease. Just blend it out just a little bit so it doesn't look harsh. Now I'm gonna take a second smudger brush because I happen to have two of these and I'm gonna go back into my Fall Festival palette and that pumpkin orange golden color right there, I'm gonna place some of that right into the inner lower third of the eye right there. And I'm gonna dampen that with some Fix Plus and apply. And then the next color that I'm gonna place next to that is going to be um, that burgundy brown color. It's gonna go in the center lower lid. Once again, I'm wetting my brush after I pick up that color. And I'm going to place that in the lower center of my lid. Wiping my brush off, I'm going to pick up a third color. And this color is going to be that dark mossy green that we had placed up here on the outer third of the eye. And I'm going to dampen it. These create a lot of fallout, so that's why I feel the need to um, intensify each color. Um, as well as wet the brush so that I don't get fallout all over my face and everywhere else. So this helps a lot. Now I'm going to apply my liquid eyeliner and I'm using the Revetri um, by Star Looks eyeliner in black. And it looks like this. It's dual ended. One side has a little star on the end where you can stamp like stars on your skin or whatever. And then the other side is a regular felt tip liner. So we're just going to line my upper lid with this. I absolutely love this pen. It glides on smooth, very black and dark, and it just goes on very well and it wears a long time. So I absolutely love this eyeliner. I'm gonna apply my mascara, and my favorite to use as of late, actually for the past year now, it's all I use, is the Rimmel Extra Super Lash Mascara in Black Black. Now I'm going to apply my lashes and the ones that I'm going to use today are by KISS and they are their number seven. So wispy lashes and they look like this. As you can see I already got one on but these are so pretty. So I thought they would be fitting for this because the eyes are already dramatic. They give you enough drama but it's not over the top. You know what I mean? So we're going to go ahead and apply this other lash. Now I'm going to line my bottom waterline with my eye pencil and I'm using Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On um, Eye Pencil in Mildew, which is a beautiful metallic green color. And that's going to go right into my lower lash line. Now I'm going to go ahead and coat my lower lashes with my Rimmel Mascara.
Now I'm going to use two concealers to conceal or highlight my face and I'm using um, two like I stated. Um, one is by Maybelline Fit Me which looks like this. Um, I can't even tell you what, what color this is. Hold on, just I'm nearsighted so excuse my glasses. <laughs> this one is Cafe Cafe and the other one is Max NW35 Concealer so I'm going to mix these two to put under my eyes. Or if I just want to do something a little more understated or, uh, you know, a little subtle, um, I'm going to go ahead and mix these two because these two are in between the color that I like to use the most. Like I said, I'm just mixing them two together. To get the shade that I want. And then I'm going to use a damp beauty blender to blend all of this in. Now I'm going to use that same blender sponge as well as a concoction of Ben Nye banana and topaz powders mixed in this jar to set my highlighted area. So I just put a little bit into the lid of the jar and I'm going to go ahead and set my highlighted areas. Now I'm going to contour my face and I'm using Milani Sunset Duos in Sunset Strip, which is my absolute favorite. I have other bronzers or contour powders that I can use, but this hands down is my favorite. It's closer to my skin complexion, probably maybe a shade darker, which is why when I don't want a heavy, dramatic like contour, I use this one. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my face. And I'm using my Real Techniques 301 flat brush. I'm also getting my jawline. Since I have a chubby jawline, I got a little chin up underneath there, so I gotta kinda hide it, you know? <laughs> Just contour my chin, the hollows of my cheeks here, and then I'm getting my lower cupid's bow like right in that little nook, like right there, up underneath, to kinda make it a little bit more pouty. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in the center of my lip, like right here. Not too much just enough and then I like to go on both sides of my um, highlight on my chin right here kind of minimize that so you don't so it's not too bright so I'm just blending out the sides now I'm gonna um, go ahead and take the same brush actually no I'm gonna go ahead and take this brush that I like to use to highlight my cupid's bow I usually use this when, I, when I'm too lazy I just go ahead and use this to get this area right here but I'm going to use my little brush that looks like this, cute little fish, pink and purple. And I'm going to go ahead and use my Too Faced bronzer, um, Chocolate Soleil bronzer, which looks like this. Um, this is the medium deep concealer. When I don't want a dark concealer or a dark contour on my nose, I like to use this because it's real subtle. So I just take the edge of my brush 
from this angle, go into it like this, and I like to go down the bridge of my nose on each side to contour and just take it straight up to this area, the inner um, part of my brows. So that's all I'm doing is just contouring my nose with this, and it's just, it just gives a soft, subtle contour because I don't like to walk around looking like Pinocchio with a pointy nose because the contour is too dark and I want it kind of subtle to um contour my nose and then sometimes I like to take it on the edge and just kind of bring it in right here around the tip of my nose to kind of soften how wide it is here so I like to go around like the bottom take it up bottom take it up like that now I'm going to bring everything together with this Sephora foundation powder in Toffee Peach. And it looks like this. And I'm going to go ahead and use a brush to set my face with. Usually I just use um, the, um, the little inside the package so that I can pat it into my face. But I'm going to brush everything over it. I'm going to brush this into everything to get everything to come together my contour and my highlight so I'm just going over everything with this brush that way it kind of sets everything and brings it together now I'm going to use my Max Mother Pearl um, face um, powder it looks like this from the uh, Mirage Noir, Noir or Noir collection. I guess that's how you say it. And I'm going to go ahead and brush this over my face and give it a little bit of a little bronze highlight or a little soft, beautiful glow. So I'm going to use a Revlon powder brush and I'm going to pick some of this up and spread it over the face. It's so pretty. Like, I've been addicted to this stuff ever since I bought it, like earlier this year. I absolutely love the way it makes my face glow. And it just brings everything together. And it's really, really pretty. Next, cheeks. Um, we're going to go ahead and apply um, a blush, which is one of my favorites by The Balm. Um, this is their In Stained Blush. And I'm trying to figure out, um, this is Pinstripe, and it's really, really pretty. I got the little teeny tiny one, but I love this color so much that I'm going to go ahead and commit to a full size of this, but it is really, really gorgeous. It's like a plummy, purpley type of shade. It's kind of dark, but it's, it's perfect for the fall. So I'm going to apply this to my cheeks. And you can kind of see it right there. The lighting is bright, but you can actually see it. It's really subtle and pretty. I really, really like it. It's a beautiful, dark, lavender, purpley type of color. It's just really perfect for fall. Highlighter time. Um, we are going to be using Bobbi Brown's um, Tawny Glow, which is a very, very, very gorgeous highlighter. It's like a rose gold shimmer, and it looks like that. And we're going to go ahead and highlight our face with my Morphe M501 Highlighter Brush, which is my absolute fave. Um, I have another by, um, I think it's Sigma, but I don't use it as much as this one because this one picks up more product, and it just looks really, really pretty on after you apply it to the face. So we're just going to go ahead and apply our highlighter. That wet look. <laughs> I love it. And I don't just apply it right here on this part of my cheeks and just bam, it's just sitting there. I like to go up and get a highlight that where, wherever light falls on your face or reflects that is where I like to place the highlighter so that it can just give a natural glow. So I go right here, right by the outer um, third of my eye, 
and kind of go back and forth to kind of get a nice wash of color going from the temples all the way down to this part right here. So it's like a wide V here. And that's where I like to highlight like my chin. I like to get my nose and my cupid's bow. Actually, the high points of my upper lip. I like to accentuate that. And then I get to my nose. I really don't like um, putting a whole lot of highlight on my forehead anymore because I don't know where they came from. I don't know if I was inherited with them, but I have these fine lines right here in my forehead that I don't like to highlight. It just draws attention to them more. So I try not to put too much highlighter on my forehead right now. Just a nice wash of, of glow. Like and up. then I like to take my finger and go into my product and then just rub some right under the tip of the nose to kind of make it pop a little bit more like that. We are in the home stretch guys and we are getting to the lips. So I'm going to apply um, LA Colors Eyeliner Pencil in Brown. Um, is this eyeliner? It doesn't even matter. I'm going to use it to line my lips with. I thought when I picked this up with this was a lip liner, but it's an eyeliner pencil in brown. We're going to use it as a lip liner today, okay? So I'm going to apply this to my lips, and then we're going to apply our color thereafter, which is a very pretty shade. I love this color. I've been into a lot of mauve pinks and nude colors lately. Anything in this shade range, I absolutely love. Um, this one is by NYX in Heather, and it's a beautiful, I guess you could say blue-based, mauve pink type of lipstick. So we're going to apply this after I line my lips. Now we're going to apply our lipstick. Okay guys, that completes this look. I had so much fun doing this particular tutorial because I am a color fanatic. I love color. Fall is my favorite season of the year and that's the best time for me to get dressed up and get in the colorful clothes that I love because earth tone colors and, and colors of this nature is just what suits me. It's right up my alley. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I, I had fun making it. So hopefully I will be able to come back with another tutorial soon because I have some prior commitments that are coming up. So I will be able to swing back around, hop on here and deliver some more content for you guys that are fall theme related makeup looks. Until then, take care of my superstars. I love you all and I'll see you later. Bye.